Today, I want to begin with a simple question. What if I told you that self-charging electric vehicle technology is already here? Not some distant dream or a theoretical idea, but actual working technology in 2025. Sounds unbelievable, right? You might think this belongs in a sci-fi movie, but I assure you, it's real. This breakthrough makes Tesla superchargers seem outdated, leaving behind traditional EV brands like Tesla and even making battery swapping stations unnecessary. And the mastermind behind this game-changing innovation? An African inventor named Maxwell Chikambuzo. His work is shaking up the automotive and energy sectors in ways we never thought possible. This isn't just a small prototype. There are reports of a fully functional mid-size SUV, a high-performance superbike, and even whispers of an aircraft powered by his revolutionary self-sustaining system. Now let's talk about motorcycles. Bikes represent freedom, but that freedom comes with a price, fuel expenses, maintenance costs, and the ever-rising price of charging electric motorcycles, which sometimes cost more than the bike itself. EV motorcycles were meant to solve this issue, but they bring their own challenges, like limited range and long charging times. But what if you could ride endlessly, without ever needing to refuel or plug in? That's exactly what Chikumbutso's technology offers, and it's happening right now. Just think of the impact this could have, particularly in regions like Africa and Asia, where motorcycles aren't a luxury, but a necessity. Farmers could transport their goods without fuel costs cutting into their income, Delivery services could operate continuously without worrying about energy costs. This isn't just a matter of convenience, it's about economic transformation. With a breakthrough this significant, challenges are inevitable. Consider the industries built on energy consumption, oil companies, gas stations, and battery manufacturers. These sectors profit by keeping us dependent on their products. If a technology emerges that removes this dependency, you can be sure there will be pushback. Powerful players will attempt to suppress it, discredit it, or even make it disappear entirely. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's journey hasn't been easy. A high school dropout from Zimbabwe, he was told his ideas were impossible. Scientists dismissed him, corporations ignored him, and at times his safety was even at risk. But he never gave up. He stayed true to his vision of a world powered by clean, limitless energy, with Africa leading the way in innovation. Now, his work is set to revolutionize multiple industries. Take his self-sustaining electric vehicle, for example. Its key feature, it never needs to be plugged in, has an unlimited range, and produces zero emissions. It can even serve as a power source for an entire home. But that's not all. He has also created a high-speed racing motorcycle that never needs charging, a self-paid television that operates without electricity, and an off-grid energy device that generates continuous power. The science behind this is called Micronic Energy Technology, which, according to Chikumbutso, captures and converts radio waves into usable electricity. This concept has intrigued and baffled scientists worldwide. If this technology is real and scalable, it could make conventional energy sources obsolete. One of his most astonishing inventions is the wireless self patent television. Unlike standard TVs that need power outlets or batteries, this device generates its own electricity from radio waves. This could be a game-changer for millions of people living in areas without reliable electricity, giving them access to entertainment and educational content without ever having to pay an energy bill. Then, there's the Green Power Off-Grid Machine, which produces electricity without solar panels or a connection to the power grid. It could provide a sustainable energy solution to both rural and urban communities, significantly reducing electricity costs and cutting dependence on fossil fuels. And of course, there's the self-sustaining racing motorcycle. This high-performance machine doesn't rely on conventional charging methods. If mass-produced, it could transform personal transportation worldwide. However, the most disruptive of all is the self-charging electric car. Unlike traditional EVs that rely on charging stations, this vehicle continuously generates its own energy, completely eliminating range anxiety. It can reach speeds of up to 220 km h standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best electric cars on the market. But what truly sets it apart is its affordability. Chikumbuzo estimates it could be manufactured for just $14,000 per unit, making it far more accessible than most EVs available today. This car isn't just a mode of transportation, it's a power source. It can supply electricity to an entire home, acting as a backup generator during outages and lowering household energy costs. 
Because it doesn't rely on lithium-ion batteries, it bypasses the environmental and ethical issues linked to rare earth mineral mining and battery disposal. But here's the harsh truth. Technologies like this don't always receive the recognition they deserve, especially when they come from unconventional sources. If a major tech corporation had developed this, it would be making global headlines with governments funding it and media outlets praising it as the future of energy. Instead, because an African inventor pioneered it, we hear silence or skepticism. This isn't the first time a disruptive invention has faced resistance. History is full of brilliant minds whose groundbreaking work was ridiculed, suppressed, or even erased because it threatened powerful interests. The pattern is clear. When an innovation challenges corporate dominance, it's often dismissed as impossible or impractical until it becomes undeniable. That's why we must demand transparency, ask tough questions, and ensure that this technology gets the attention it deserves. The current energy system is built on scarcity and dependence, keeping us locked in a cycle of paying for resources that should be freely available. But what if we could break free? What if energy was no longer controlled by a handful of corporations, but accessible to everyone? The implications of Chikumbuzo's work extend far beyond transportation. If his technology is real and scalable, it could lead to a future where developing nations no longer rely on expensive imported energy. It could mean households generating their own power without being tied to the grid. It could mean breaking free from an industry that has profited by keeping us dependent on finite resources. But those who benefit from the current system won't step aside easily. They will use their wealth, influence, and control over the media to suppress this technology. They'll dismiss it as a hoax, bury it in bureaucracy, and try to convince us that change is impossible. But we know better. Innovation comes from those who refuse to accept the status quo. That's why it's crucial to support independent inventors, amplify their voices, and challenge the narratives pushed by those with vested interests in maintaining control. The future of energy is at a crossroads. We can either continue down the path of dependency or fight for a world where energy is abundant, sustainable, and available to all. The revolution won't be televised, it will be shared by those who dare to challenge the system and demand something better. So, what do you think? Are self-charging EVs the future? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Autogarage for more groundbreaking tech content. See you in the next video.